as I continue my series on Pick Your Path. This week, since Monday falls on Halloween, I thought it would be fun to look at this choice to trick or treat or to not trick or treat as a metaphor in our life and business. Now, I'm not approaching this from a moral perspective, but from the perspective of what one hopes to obtain from trick-or-treating. Candy. I'm Elizabeth Mahusai, elite sales and leadership coach with Southwestern Consulting. Today, all across the country, there will be lots of children putting on uh, disguises and costumes and going out and trick-or-treating. So uh, here's my short list of what goes into someone successfully obtaining candy on Halloween. First, they need to decide they're going to go out on Halloween too. They're going to determine the costume that they're going to wear. And three, they're going to have a bucket or a bag, some way to receive the candy throughout the course of their time. Four, they're going to walk door to door and they're going to knock. But before they knock, they're going to look for the signs that tell them someone is likely to give them candy, like the lights are on or it's there's decorations in the yard or maybe someone's outside. But they're going to knock on those doors where they have an expectation of receiving candy and they're going to ask trick or treat. Now, likely they will then finally hold that bag or bucket out in anticipation of receiving the treat that the homeowner is going to provide. Now, the person who chooses not to go out trick-or-treating, they stay home and either they're satisfied with not having the sweetness of the candy, or maybe they go to the store and they buy their own candy, or possibly maybe they're sulking and complaining or blame shifting on why there is no candy. I suppose they could also hope that someone would knock on their door and give them candy, but either way, they've chosen not to go trick-or-treating, not to choose that path. Okay, so you're going, all right, Elizabeth, Get to, how does this relate to our business when it comes to selling? Well, the question is, have we decided that we are going to put ourselves out there to ask for business? That's our version of trick-or-treating. Are we willing to dress the part based on our target audience? Are we prepared with the needed supplies and materials when we present our products and services? Are we assessing who is our ideal client, the buying signs, and are we knocking on those doors? Are we actually asking for the business? Because we are so convicted and so committed to our product and the service we are selling. Or are we sitting back at home or in our offices, satisfied with our just enough, or for some of us, in some cases, our not enough, are we waiting for buyers to come to us or call us? Are we blame shifting on the economy, on changes in our industry or someone else in our life that we perceive is hindering us? Today, we need to pick our path to go out trick-or-treating for business growth or hanging out at home waiting for things to happen. Let's choose wisely today so that we can enjoy the sweet reward of being intentional in our efforts to grow our businesses. I'm Elizabeth Mahusai, elite sales and leadership coach with Southwestern, wishing you an amazing rest of your day. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure to follow my Monday morning motivation playlist.